YouTube, what's up? First of all, obviously, I appreciate all the support and all the outreach from me as far as Jacksonville is concerned. Want to try to start bringing y'all regular content so we get past this and try to get back to normal, man. Like I said, obviously, if you want to donate, the GoFundMe links are all over the place. The t-shirt that I'm wearing in this video, obviously, I'll give you the links below so you can go ahead and order this t-shirt. Each t-shirt I sell, I'm giving away at least $10, some are 11 some are 12 to the families of the victims, obviously, Eli Clayton and Taylor Robinson. My friend, so that's pretty much where we're at. I'm trying to bring y'all regular content, something to get us back in the mad swing of things. That's pretty much what I want to do. Focus on the future, focus on how we're going. So if you want more of this soon, please hit the like, hit the comment button. Comment on what you'd like to see from me in the next couple of weeks here. We're trying to get back in the man mode. Obviously, it's been almost only five days since the incident. You've seen this video, I cut my hair at the hospital, cut probably 30% of it. You know, I was bald, probably about the other 20%. The rest of it, I cut off. So, that's how I'm living now. I like the baldy, feeling good about it. That's all we can get, but not feeling good against this first drive. Play my man King Lurk. I'm actually on my buddy Raw Dog's account. If y'all know Raw Dog, big time streamer, he gives away a lot of cards. But I'm playing this account here. I see he's a fourth down my first drive. I kind of get super bad there. Turn the ball over my first drive. As I told y'all a thousand times, a man, that's pretty terrible. But we gotta make sure we don't three here. We get a sack. We get a great tackle by Champ Billy here. Although he did drag him forward and still have him down there. He no huddles. When people no huddle, I go ahead and switch my defense up. One little couple, couple three hard flats here. Can't hit a drag. You can't really hit a corner. He goes inside zone. We blow that up. Get him to a fourth down. You know, you gotta stop the fourth drive. So I'm not mad at him no huddle for this. I'm doing once again a little cover three hard flats. We gotta play the inside zone. We gotta keep a spy for Michael Vick. We play the hard flats to stop him in the short stuff. He goes to the playmakers that and catches that pass. Boy, that's a tough catch. I think it was Tim Brown that made that catch for him. I don't want him to catch that pass. He really throws another one up here and then Malcolm Jenkins jumps it. But Moss caught it and got his feet in. Back to back crazy plays. Here he is with Ricky Williams. We get a strip from him. Nah, we don't get a fumble. Good defense there by Amos. He no huddles. You know, inside the five is going to be huge this game. Inside the ten is going to be huge this game, as it is in every man game. Here he goes with a little power roll, but we bagged that up. Bobby Wagner hits thick. Get him to a third and goal. He just sits back, chucks it up. I want an interception on this play. After, like, come on, EA. So, what, what's it, what, the first drive of the game, we hold him to just fluky plays inside the five. Honestly, should have got a turnover. He caught some crazy passes. Should have got a pick there, but it is what it is. We want to keep fighting. Hold him to three there. Nice little quick out route. Make him respect the one wide receiver's side. That's what we do. Hit him in a flat to Gurley here. Hit him with you. And then Gurley just has the speed. We use Gurley at tight end. If you want to learn how to put Gurley at tight end, make sure you cop that Saints ebook. The link is below. The link is madinturf.com. Y'all check it out. The Saints ebook. You want to learn how to put your best running back there at the tight end position. That's what we do with Gurley. Hit him in the flat. Take it to the crib. That's why we use a running back at tight end to be able to do that type of thing. Here we go again. He's hitting the flats. I just want to hold him. Just no big plays. That's pretty much my goal on defense. I've told you that all year. No big plays. He was no huddle. He's no huddle a lot. Sometimes you get a vibe into what people want to do when they no huddle. Why they no huddle and stuff like that. But here he motions his running back, so I know for sure he's not passing. I'm on McCoy, though, so that takes away from from a pass rush. He just goes the perfect time. Perfect animation. Lord EA was on his side on that one. The perfect throw for animation from Vic. Stop the running back for a moment. There we go. He was a playmaker up the field. Y'all know if you watch the stream, if you watch me play, I hate playmakers. My man had nobody open to playmaker, somebody ran in the Here he goes in the back deep end route. That was a good play. Pretty open. Wanted to strip from behind on Moss, but that's Randy Moss. That's why you put him there and throw a high ball to him. He scored a touchdown. That was not That was a little too easy for him. I didn't like that drive defensively. It was terrible. But we're all right. Got to get some points. Maybe the last drive and a half. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. Let's see what we can do. A little bit of game right here. Who's Jones? Who's Jones? Spin moves. Get another couple extra yards. We'll get the ball. with the girl. Juke one person. Try one away from Shazier. But you know these kids still have Shazier. And Mutt Master already. It's, it's not even September. They have it. We go hit the crossing right here to boss. Randy Danny. Get down. We're going to try to burn some time now. He uses a timeout to make sure I can't burn time. Try to hit a streak there to boss. I had I had him on a fade. He had no deep blues over there. I think he overthrows it. 
you know, his moss or his Vic throws a perfect pass. He taps his toe on the sideline line like the girls. Here we go to the third and eighteen. He must have did a first down and early on third and eighteen. You know I'm hype about that. Did not expect that. Was fully you know content with taking my my three right there. And I catch him in the run through with the next play. Obvious run through the situation. He did. Got the touchdown. I took it. We'll see what he does with this one minute and nine seconds left. Hopefully to stop the kick. But you know, you know, you're watching Dub that W play. It's never gonna be easy. Luckily, we have Todd Gurley. He catch Tyree Kill. That pretty much donates him three points. Let's go here and try to get a stop in the first play. Boom, we get a sack from Xavier Rose. Diamond Xavier Rose. Good play by him. Making a sack. Once again, I give this up. Again, perfect throw, perfect animation. Uh, that's like the third time he's hit me with that crosser play. What he's doing, interesting, is putting the, cro the outside guy on the end route and playmaker him up. So he gets a big play there. So I got to pay attention to that the rest of the game. Trying to play real safe. Making sure he does not get touched out. Pretty much conceded my three here, but I still want the lead at halftime. So I'm going to do it. Here goes runs. That was predictable. McCoy blows it up. Two seconds left. Take his time out. He take three. I'm okay. And I feel like I'm going to get stops. He's getting perfect passes, perfect animations. I want to get a stop. You know, my defense is not terrible. There's no big play. Nothing easy. I know what he wants to throw. Where he wants to lose the football. We just got to stop that. But we're taking off the second half. We're only holding one point. That's a terrible lead in Madden. Anything over three points is a terrible lead in Madden. Because shoot one little big play. Not going to the range. And you can lose the game. Well, we got, like I said, the last one, we got to make a tackle on the special teams, and we do that. Hold it to the 29-yard line. We're going to make it work now, boys. We love a sale, but somehow Vic gets out. Five minute pressure when Vic gets out. That's why Michael Vic is special. And we got first and ten, but we'll get this sack. We go Xavier Road, second sack of the game. Then to the second and 17, we go to the playmaker. That's about the third time he's done that. Playmaker, that outside guy. Got to remember it. That's his bread and butter play. It was in this time I manned up. As all day, I sent the spot. And for some reason, just luck of the draw. This guy comes back and says, You know what? I'm named up. But I'm going to keep, I'm going to run back to the quarterback. Just a lucky play there for him. On third down. Next play, he gets a nice little streak to the tight end. Make him work once again. He has nothing here. Send the spy. Vic, we actually get a sack big time. That holds him. You can get him through a second long. No big plays. Great work by me. Nowhere to go with the football. Run around with Vic. Send the spy. Throw the ball away. There's nothing out here open. Third and long. One play safe. That's why I blitz and I should make sure I got to remember I guard this flat. I do make a great tackle there with Ronnie Lott. That's a, a big play. One on one, the whole field. He made me miss that. Could be a touchdown. Hold on to three. Now I'm down two. And the whole game is in my hands down two. Like I said, if it's not three, I can win on the field. I can keep this whole game and win on the field goal. A little curl route there. Some route kind of dropped. Kind of was bad there by Jalen Ramsey. Next play, we go ahead and go to this crossing route over here to Moss. If he overplays the flats on the right, I get Moss back over the top. We're in a little draw here with Le'Veon. Of course, my diamond triple 97 overall Le'Veon Bell. The first time he's got hit all game, cost it up. So now we got to fight again. Ooh, I almost had a pick right there. Just got to trust and hold a lot. I'm disappointed in myself, as you can see. He's run this play about four times. He's had nobody. Every time he runs that play, he has nobody to throw to. Get him to a fourth and six. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? He runs a playmaker. We're covering everything. We're covering everything. He throws it up. That pick off. No. He catches it in front of Champ Bailey. Bruh. Now we got to hold the door. He scores a touchdown. The game is over. Hold the door. Big run on first down. We get him to the two-yard line. So here he goes. He comes down the goal line. Me, personally, I think right here is too far to run sneak. He's going to run some type of toss or some type of power O. So I run commit, but he does run sneak. And he actually picks up a great bit of yards. I'm really pissed that he got that much yards on sneak. So I cannot allow him to run sneak again on my 3-4. So instead of calling timeout, I go off sides. If he moves up half the distance to the goal, it doesn't make that big a difference in that situation. And I cannot use a timeout. And I cannot allow him to run quarterback sneak against my 3-4. So here I come out on goal line. I crash my line down. I move Clowney out a little bit to stop the toss. It's third and goal. I know I know nothing up the middle is going to work. He goes and runs toss. Clowney blows it up. And Amos is right there just in case he doesn't get by. Huge sequence right there. Because the touchdown, I lose the game. But I hold him to three. It gives me life and understanding how to use the ball size instead of calling timeout. Utilize the right personnel to make a stop right there. Can give me the opportunity to win this game. That's what I have to do. 
And that's what we'll try to do here with one last drive. Two minutes and 18 seconds left. For the first player to drive, we get sacked. Jeez, that's the worst way to start a drive, especially when you drive. Get sacked, but I take it to the two minute one. It's okay. He lets me get it all back the next play. Probably the fourth time I hit Moss on this little sharp slam across the middle. Once again, now the time is on my side. I want this to be the last drive of the game. I'm a little bit all down. I have all my timeouts. I don't really much. And once again, I caught on to what he was doing. Manning up the outside, leaving one on one with the middle zone. And I threw a fade to Moss right there. That's what I wanted to do. I set that up all game. Big play getting here. I think it's an obvious run from this situation. I don't run. I don't. He doesn't run from that. I'm stuck right here. No one to go for He sends a spy. Sends the next spy. And, you know, this is why we have Michael Vick quarterback. He is. Special. Huge play there. Gotta get two. Because like, I just talked about the lead of the game, you know. Gotta be able to get two. Here we go. He blitzes a little bit. I'm able to go ahead and hit the flat right there. Let me on Bell. Pull that two point play out of the pocket. I want y'all to comment on what's the best two point play you have. If you need plays like that, make sure you hit the Madden Turf link below because those plays are in the ebook. You need that one play to go to when you need a two point conversion, and that's huge. Because, worst case scenario now, if I play some solid defense, defense will go to overtime. I will not lose this game on the field. Well, that was a big two-point conversion. And like I said, hit the link below. You learn how to make those same plays in the same first time as I just did. But the game's not over. He's got two timeouts. All he needs is a field goal to tie. No big plays. I can't give up that crosser again, and I can't give up four verticals right up the middle. So when he motions his running back, I know he's not running. I can go and tee off on the quarterback, pass commit, and that's what we do. We go ahead and get the sack. Xavier Rose, let's go. Once again, he's the second and 19. He throws that, picked the out, swatted, and took the biggest playmaker in the secondary this year. Patrick Peterson, swag on him, why don't you, man? Pat P, put him in the chat. The best corner in the game. Get this off my field. I will not lose the bunch tight end. All we're going to do here is put it on conservative, run the ball out, run the game out. He doesn't have enough timeouts to, you know, to get the ball back. That play by, I believe it was Ronnie Lott in the vert hook, swatted the ball, and then Pat Pete in his cloud flat picked it off. Pat Pete will always be around the football. If you don't have a pass with Peterson, make sure you have it. That's how we won this game. We didn't give up touchdowns. We scored touchdowns inside the five matter. It was more than anything in Madden. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please comment on what your favorite play is inside the five-yard line. If you don't have any, hit that link for Madden Turf. Go ahead and get you some plays inside the five. I'm out of here, though. Dude!